Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Happy Bringling. My name is Anshav Jain, and I'm founder and managing director of Bringle Excellence UK and India. And on behalf of Bringleverse, I would like to welcome all of you to our North India Curtain Razor event of Sone Ki Chidiya Ko Jagao. Har Ghar Sone Ki Chidiya Ko Jagao or Awakening the Golden Bird Inside Each of You. So which, from here, with this initiative, we would like to transform India into a super powerful economy once again by developing India into a startups and skills capital of the world. You can check more details on the social media platform with the hashtag Sone Ki Chidiya Ko Jagao and hashtag Awakening the Golden Bird. And with this, I would like to initiate a very important mission today, which talks about quit job movement. And I'm sure all of you would remember that 8th of August to 1942, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, which we famously known as, call them as Bapu, has actually launched a Quit India movement for the Britishers. And this time, we are also actually launching a similar movement of, you know, Quit India movement. Basically, we are talking about unemployment to be out of the India. And for that, one of the major initiatives which we are going to launch out here is going to be Quit Job Movement. Now, what is this Quit Job Movement all about? Who are the various, you know, what are the things we are working upon? You will be getting to know much uh, further, you know, slowly into it. And with this, I would request my colleague, uh, my co-founder and colleague, uh, Dr. Vinaya, to talk about what is Quit Job Movement in, about. Vinayam, you're on mute. Thank you. Firstly, I would like to wish good evening to one and all over here. On this auspicious day of 8th of August, we wish and thank one and everyone who is watching the videos video here or will be watching this video. And uh, welcome to everyone who are here with us today on this day. This day, as Anshav has already said, 8th of August, we commemorate the significant event when Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi launched the Quit India Movement in 1942, calling for India's independence during and urging the Britishers to leave our land. Today, we stand at the cusp of another transformative movement initiated by us at Bringle as we raise the curtain on the North India campaign. Just as Quit India aimed to be free our nation from external control of bring Britishers, we at Bringle also are calling upon to quit job movement, which aspires to liberate the young youth from the clutches of conventional employment and awaken the spirit of entrepreneurship within them. We believe in fostering the generation of young entrepreneurs empowered to lead their own destinies and create a self-resilient India. By leveraging the same auspicious date, we embark on this empowering journey to inspire the youth to march confidently towards entrepreneurship journey and empowering and through the mentorship, training programs, support, we will equip them with the skills and the mindset needed to build a successful ventures and transform their lives. As we raise the curtain on this moment, we call upon all the young minds to break free from the chains of routine jobs and embrace the boundless possibilities of entrepreneurship. Let us unite in the spirit, just as our ancestors did. 
on the path of independence and forge a future where the golden bird of entrepreneurship soars high, propelling India towards the prosperity and self-sufficiency. Thank you one and all for joining us in this quit job movement and be a part of this transformative journey. Together we shall script a new chapter in the history of our nation where the spirit of entrepreneurship regains supreme and the youth emerge as a driving force of our collective progress. Let's awaken the Soneki Chidiya within ourselves and get into a brighter and a self-reliant India. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Going further, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome to welcome our MD and let me introduce this visionary leader because of whom we all are gathered here and working towards this initiative of Hero for Zero to help each and every citizen to identify their core competence and transform them into a leader so that they can inspire others, help them to achieve and motivate them to pass on the baton on to the others to transform themselves, eventually transforming the lives of their families, their state, their country and the world. And we are, as he always says, we are one earth, one family and we should have one future and that future has to be golden. Anshad Jain is a proud Indian who has also left multiple lucrative opportunities to settle outside India and also very commonly and fondly called as Anshavtar. He's having his 21 years of corporate experience and as an angel investor, startup mentor, business consultant, serial entrepreneur and now venture capitalist, founder and MD of Bringle Excellence UK and India. Though he worked 21 years in global MNCs, giving them 100 millions of dollars with respect to revenue realization and cost optimization, now he has transformed his loss making business into a self sustainable 100 million USD global startup, aspiring to be the world's first zero employee, zero office, zero unicorn by 2025, and a trillion dollar company by 2030. I would now like to invite my dear. MD, Mr. Anshav Jain, to explain us about this global moment and the people involved and do this North India curtain raiser of an annual success festival, which we are going to hell from 19th of August to 24th of August. With the theme of today as quit job moment over to Anshav. Thank, Thank you so, you so much, much uh, Vinaya, Vinaya, for, for such a warm welcome, welcome and good, in, you know, detailed introduction. Uh, uh, let, let me just uh, uh, you know, take this. Let me just take this opportunity first of all to now introduce my other fellow co-founders, and uh, because of you know whom I've been able to br bring this uh, entire movement to this level. Without them, I would not have been able to actually uh, you know perform this uh, together till now. Uh, uh, let me talk about my next co-founder, Dr. Vinaya, who has just introduced me. So I would want to introduce her. The first one here. And uh, uh, Dr. Vinaya, but before introducing our next co-founder, let me share a story of a woman and her strength in comparison to a diamond and the process of transforming a piece of coal into a diamond. Once upon a time, there lived a young girl named Evangeline. She was just 19 years old and was full of life, dreams and aspirations. Evangeline found herself in an incredibly difficult situation and an abusive one. Everything around her seemed to fall apart as she was in state of affliction and taken advantage of by the people she thought she could trust. Despite the pain and hardship, Evangeline kept her held high and worked hard to achieve her dream. Evangeline made her dream a reality to bring soulful smiles to one billion people and her story inspired countless others. Let me now introduce you to Dr. Vinaya, to, who is working towards making the difference in the world by awakening the golden bird inside ourselves and spreading soulful smiles. As she always says, our smiles can reach far beyond our, our bubble, creating a domino effect of joy and connection across the world. 
Let's take the time to awaken our inner golden bird and spread its light and love to the world. Let's give a big round of applause to this Evangeline who has taken up the next global mission to bring her one billion soulful smiles. And she always says that together we can make a difference. Vinaya, could you please raise your hand and give a little hi to all of us. Thank you so much. Uh, let me now introduce to this ever smiling lady, Sharmila Devatia, who is uh, actually not well today and could not join us. But, uh, you know, she's one of the major inspirations or the support system for me since, you know, 2017, who has got cerebral palsy at the age of six years, followed by 30 days of coma and then paralysis, leaving her with the loss of sight and immovable body and how she has taken that journey in the last 50 plus years and what drives her today, even after what she has gone through in so many years. And now running three organizations after serving three decades in the corporate sector and two decades in the social impact arena, NGOs and working with the government of India as a resource person. And she sincerely believes in one thing for everyone. Disability is just an inconvenience. So let us join our hands together and welcome this strong-hearted young lady of 58 years who is going to leverage her journey of five plus decades for Lakhi Bagh, transforming one lakh youth and children in every city, in all districts of every state of our country. So that's Shamila. And let me now you know, quickly introduce this dyslexic mother of a premature boy leading to disabilities who is now on a mission to prevent any health issues for each of you so that you don't have to say goodbye too soon to the people you love. She is on a mission to prevent any health issues for each of you which could lead to diseases, disability, age-related challenges or even death. So let us join hands and wish Aishwarya Magesh a very all the best as she is now working to develop an AI and blockchain based holistic health management ecosystem. Aishwarya, please raise your hands to everybody just to see. And uh, let me just quickly share the screen once more about the, the entire curtain raiser. What we are focusing upon, this is the, you know, the Punjabi version of the book we are going to launch for the North India region. We have launched our in Hindi version uh, of the book in, uh, in, in Central India. And there are, there is a Kannada version launched in South India. There is a Gujarati in uh, West India and Kol uh, Bengali in the East India version. Now we are launching a Punjabi version of the book in that over a period of you know, next two years, we'll be launching the first five regional books, then the 12 uh, uh, regional books, and then eventually the 22 official regional level languages books for translation of this entire volume one plus volume two of Sone Ki Chidiya Ko Jagao. Uh, from this, I would want to just do a little curtain raiser for this event. Uh, which is for which we have gathered a small curtain raiser 1.3 minutes video and then we will go ahead with our eminent guests and speakers for today. Okay.
Thank you so much for uh, you know list is watching the curtain racer, and uh, we would I would like to move forward from this to the next level, and just want to share something with all of you that India is the youngest cap country in the world at this point in time with an average age of twenty eight years, and this demographic dividend we have to leverage and take a benefit in the next three to five years, especially having fifty crore plus children and twenty six crore plus youth in our country, and if we leverage this population, we can you know definitely transform India into a number one economy and that is why this one of the major initiative of quit job movement is going to be so important for all of us because the time has come if you know that you know i don't know how many of you are aware that there are only one percent of new jobs are getting added versus the new graduates who are coming into the ecosystem not only that the only five percent more than 90% of the graduates or the freshers who joins the organization, they will either have to be, you know, they will leave their first jobs or they've been thrown out in the first year itself. And that creates a big problem because they're not employable. They're not having that entrepreneurial mindset which can actually make them more go-getter and achieve anything in their life. The third aspect, even the organizations are struggling with respect to the whole aspect of this thing because whatever the people they are getting in, they are not ready for the market. By the time they, they invest crores of rupees into their upskilling for making them employable and developing that entrepreneurial mindset, they leave for a better job opportunities. And that creates a much more difficult situation for us, especially with the respect of the automation, the kind of COVID has trans, you know, accelerated the technology 20 years uh, in just two years of time. You will find a lot of IT jobs getting over and a lot of people who are working in IT field or outsourcing field, they will lose their jobs in the next three to five years. So what do we do? How can we make each and everybody find out an opportunity to earn their own living, become, make the country financially free? And that is the whole initiative of quit job movement to become a job provider rather than a job seeker so that we can transform India into a self-sustainable, environmental friendly and financially independent economy leading to zero unemployment and net zero. We are transforming 1 billion lives. This is our vision 2030 to transform 1 billion lives, 1 million businesses and 100 unicorns with an investment of $1 billion and adding $5 trillion GDP to our country. And that is what we are trans working towards with this whole initiative of Har Ghar Sone Ki Chiriya Ko Jagao. Uh, this is one of the major initiatives where we are launching a model where how can we transform their ideas into a billion dollar recurring income business model in just three to five years time and each of them can develop a further number you know startups for us so before we go further i would like to invite our you know one of the eminent speaker for today venu ravindran and let me talk a little bit about venu uh Venu Ravindran, a serial entrepreneur, he's a he's the co-founder of Human Capital 365, which is an HR firm, NH47, a Kerala restaurant, Soon Jobs, which is a global recruitment firm, the Ikigai Foundation, which is working to revival of traditional art, culture, and tribal community. Area, he's the area director for BNI Bangalore, Southeast area, Southeast zone, inspiring 500 plus business entrepreneurs. He's the immediate past president of Rotary Bangalore, Jeevan Bhimanagar. Currently, he holds the position of zonal secretary, Rotary District 3191. So thank you so much, Venu, for joining us on this platform and on this launch today. Uh, over to you, Venu, and would love to know your thoughts about and your work, what you're working towards the startup ecosystem and in all the other areas, you know, you are working towards. Uh, you're on mute, uh, Venu. What about now? Absolutely, we can hear you. Yes. So a great good evening to each one of you in this room and thank you uh, Anshav Jain and the team behind this for inviting me for this evening. So it's really my pleasure to share my experience and my journey. Quickly, I would like to just share this. The reason why I would like I would not like to bring any other story, I would like to bring my own story to this room is nothing but I'm sure many of you can relate to that. 
And to start with, I I started my entrepreneurial journey as a I worked maybe for just hardly few months, and that was the time when I took a call that this is not my bread. I need to. I wanted my thoughts, my processes to be implemented, and this was in the year 1993. I just wore the shoes of an entrepreneur and started my first venture. And just for for all of your information, I never had uh, any backup, or I I never came from a business background family. My father was with the public sector organization, and I just started my journey with that. And I started my entrepreneurial journey because definitely coming from an entrepreneurial, from a public sector or government employed family, they never wanted to encourage entrepreneur. I'm talking about 1993. I'm sure many of you in this room may not have born by then, but that was the time when People look for being secured in life is employment. That was the time when I took this call. And thereafter, no looking back. Five years down the line, I started my second venture, which was a medical tri medical BPO company. And that was the time when till 2000, people were looking out for what is that Y2K going to turn around. And that is the time when I jumped into giving employment to almost 250 people. And we started a medical BPO company in the IT capital of India, that is Bangalore. And that went on. And in 10 years down the line, we exited out of that. We had a buyer coming in with the right pricing. We exited out of that. And in 2009, I ventured into my th third venture that was into health, uh, into the HR services. And that was focusing on one niche area that was background verification or antecedent verification. And that journey took me on. And even that is one entity which I strongly work around that because I have, uh, I just believe that the quality, the, the passion towards or giving that awareness to the students or the next generation, the young generation that always believe in what you are at it. Never look at a, what do you know? If within your career you have a break, you have a gap, never try to fill that with something because once you feel that is lifelong, keep ponding you and you will be caught up. You will never be, you yourself will lose your confidence into it. And that's when I got inspired into this background verification venture and that started on. And along with that, I started feeling after some point of time, I started thinking that it's time for me to give back to the community. And that's where I start took up with BNI, which you must have heard of. That's where I handhold almost 500 plus business entrepreneurs, 500 plus business entrepreneurs. I hold the handhold in the sense by way of mentoring and getting them connected to the kind of connections what they want. And that is something which I do passionately. And uh, this again in Bangalore, I do that. So that's along with that. The next venture was again a restaurant. That was again a passion which was there that I have a team which looks after that. But also the recent one to start is that which is into a foundation. And we must all have been hearing about NGOs, foundations. There are so much of needy people around. OK, we see education, girl child education, uh, women empowerment and Still, there are people who are supporting them, but there is still people need that support. But we felt we should support something which hardly people don't look at it. And that is the art and culture or traditional arts, heritages, which the next generation is not coming forward for this or to take that profession, that hereditary uh, culture which has been built years after years. So that is where now that is one thing which I've been very closely working on to see that how we handhold this community of and to start with it, we are right now working with Karnataka and we are working on cultural tourism. We are working towards building up a cultural tourism or uh, as well as tribal tourism and building that tribe to uplift their community to the society. So giving a life to that community. So that is where I right now my entrepreneurial journey is more over around that. But a message which I would like to bring it to each one of you in this room is that entrepreneurial journey is somewhere you become the master of yourself. And it is the time that you get it's your opportunity. It's your opportunity to to put in what your thoughts, your minds, 
but always one message I'd like to leave here is that always try to have a mentor for you. And that is something where biggest learning which I in my journey I have seen that and. Which I would like to bring young entrepreneurs who are coming for forward for startups. For uh, startups and so on would request you to kindly ensure that. One second, yeah, ensure that you do build a mentoring. You should be open in having a mentor who understands your thought process and basically a mentor or a guide along with you in this journey. And today the ecosystem like how Anisha was sharing the, the support system is huge, which is unbelievable. It is that mindset which you need to set it up that yes, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to give back this. I want to handhold. I need to uplift this. I this my thought process has to be brought into the plan for it. And let me tell you, there is so much, so much of support, not only by way of guidance, by way of connectivity, by way of supporting the funding part. Like just now we heard from Anisha also that yes, there are support system for funding too. So I'd request each one of you to, these are some basic steps before you step into it and never compromise on that. But the opportunities are huge. Not only the place where you are, the globally the opportunity, like as we heard, India is young. And let me tell you, this young, young generation is something which is the future of India. And all ecosystem is around that. Don't miss it. Leverage that you want to step into it. There is opportunity. Never look back. And always with that positive mindset, there is huge, huge opportunities waiting in front of you. And my experience of 33, 34 years of it, I'm always there to see that my number can be taken from the managing team of this organization. I'll be more than happy to guide anyone who would like to have any support or any guidance needed. We'll we are open to with really open hearted. We will be happy to help each one of you. So with this, I would like to thank once again for the team to giving me this opportunity. I know it was very impromptu and I was on a travel, so I had to take the call in my car. But definitely, yes, wishing all the best for this initiative to the team behind this and all the best to each one of you who is in this room. Back to you. First of, First of all, all, thank you so much, Venu, for you know joining in this today's session, even when you are traveling and uh, accepted our request at the last moment. Uh, one of the very important aspects you mentioned, and I really liked the way you, uh, you, know, you are speaking around this, is the mentoring part of it. I remember, you know, when I started my journey in uh, 2013, so which is actually 20 years after you started off. So, uh, you know, what I re realized is that there was nobody who could actually support or guide us. When I started in 2013, and of course, 1993, the situations were very different because it was more of a government control, the privatization, the corporatization was coming up slowly. In 2013, uh, when I started off, it was still called as business. We never used to know the word called startup. Today, we at least have something called startup. We have a mentoring ecosystem. We have an incubation cells. We ourselves are Design Your Unicorn work with 350 plus incubation cells across in, in the country today. Now, having said that, one of the challenge which we actually find out with the youth today, they think that they know everything. And they're not, they think that it is not their job to do certain parts of the business. However, they don't realize there are four areas, seven pillars, and 105 factors which can make or break the business. And which cannot be taken care of unless you have a proper guide. You have a mentor with you who can work with you, who has got an experience with you, you know, uh, in these areas. So like person like you who has ventured into multiple businesses and actually made them successful and now working on a very big community development of art and culture. I think, uh, Venu, I would like to personally invite you to be a part of our Design Your Unicorn mentor panel. And if you have a fund, would like to have your fund also incorporated under that so that we can nurture more and more startups from our country. So that's one request I have Anshu, from you. Yeah, yeah and sure, definitely, yes, we can uh, get into a con uh, conversation on this, uh, of, of this outside this and definitely yes i'll be more than happy if i can add value to this your initiative and your team definitely yes sir
definitely yes sure sir thank you so much i think that makes a lot of difference and lot of uh, support to us we will come back to you on this uh, dr vinaya and me will have a meeting with you personally we'll explore what best we can do and uh, how we can take it forward from there uh, dr sure, vinaya sure. would you like to add and something i would also like to express yeah. i would also like to express my gratitude to dr vinaya for following up with me and to make sure that i am there for today's uh, session thank you dr vinaya Uh, it's actually, it's actually I, I just would would want, want to say, say thanks. thanks. Really, it was in a uh, literally last minute, and Anshu was behind me right from the first uh, curtain raiser. That why don't you invite uh, Vino? And I'm like. what do i call him in the school entrepreneurship journey or a skill set journey and i literally didn't knew that you are into so much of things uh, unless i read your profile and then i was just like going through it but really really thanks out of i can understand like uh, just being in bringal it's been just almost 6 to 7 months and actually one year uh, but i have seen how busy uh, an entrepreneurial journey can be and i have seen anshav i have seen ashwarya i have seen sharmila how they were with just one or two businesses it's like too much and i'm like when i'm seeing when i saw yours i's like out of this and now i understand that when uh, rotary used to ask some time and in spite of all this you used to take time for the rotary events and never used to complain or say that okay i don't have time or this hats off to you and it's a learning that if you can do we all can also do really uh, so i think 24 hours is less <laughs> for you because you're managing so much so big thanks to you for being here and uh, accepting this it's really an honor to have you here so thanks a lot thank you thank you so much sir uh, so we will take it forward from there to our next uh, speaker for today and uh, actually the next speaker is a very young entrepreneur and i have i've got i've actually met him in the bits pilani event where i was uh, you know kind of re, uh, evaluating certain startups for investments and uh, this is a, he was in eighth standard that time and he reached out to me during the networking session and said that sir i have got a financial freedom plan i am actually earning passive income at this point in time and i am just i am just completing my studies and i it's not just me actually i have got a community of children or like minded children who are part of our team and we keep working together and developing further onto it so i was actually and he's been kind of reaching out to me for multiple times to share his story and you know work with us and how we can work but i think he was very busy today i somehow catch hold of him and uh, he has actually has his exam tomorrow of sanskrit uh, so he was kind of has shared his profile to me and he said i will try to join this but because i think at the last moment he had to work uh, he has to do something at his home so he has shared a very beautiful video with us about his journey and what he has been doing and what the message he would like to give it on this quit job movement initiative for us now let me just tell little bit about samrik first before we move on so samrik is a student of class 9 as of now since class 5 he had participated and achieved in many innovation challenges while also ranking in olympiads and exams so far as to opening a youtube channel of his own in class 7 he made his first software which was an anti cheating software and won funding mentorship and recognition in news uh, media as well and made it affordable for even small tuitions or coaching institutes as well to use since then he has developed more than four softwares from scratch and got an opportunity to work at neertech which is his bits pilani one of the professor and where he is working as an intern and actually earning money out of it apart from earning money from his own softwares and this is the message which he has given it to all of us and i think this is a wonderful message from a 14 year old boy having his own you know passive income earning so much of money which even we can't probably even are just thinking about it so just this video is for all of you hello everyone i am samrin majumdar ceo and founder of s proctor tech and what makes me more than just a 14 year old teenager
or a student of class 9 is, is the decision I made a few years ago. You see, since I was in class 5, I used to create small, uh, uh, I used to create small activities and post them on my YouTube channel, often submitting uh, these into, uh, into innovation challenges, which I won. How, uh, however, when the COVID-19 pandemic came, everyone is, it wasn't real because there was lockdown. However, I saw opportunity in it. And in class seven, I finally completed developing my first software after spending days and nights of coding. It was an anti-cheating software so that the schools could uh, conduct their online exams without the children having to uh, using Google, uh, which can which will ultimately cause their own loss. So this uh, this project became famous in competitions. It became famous in our school. It became famous in the news. Now the thing is, I could have stopped there, but I felt that I needed to get further. I needed to get it out on the market, and so I did, launching its own very website and social media pages. Today, I realized that that decision was, was what has allowed me to get cash prizes and innovation challenges, to get uh, mentorship and to connect with uh, some brilliant people. It also gives me a unique, uh, unique portfolio because everyone, uh, you know, nowadays everyone uh, can rank in Olympus, everyone can, uh, is studying, but there are very few who can, who can start, uh, start with entrepreneurship at this age. So that is a unique portfolio folio for your project, which no one else can copy. Now, the thing is that the Indian market is very vast, and so is its youth. If you or your child has made something wonderful or useful, don't be afraid to bring it out on the market, because as someone wise once said, half efforts do not produce half results. It produces no results. So thank you, and I'm sure that you're going to do better and go further than me. Wow, what a wonderful thought of a 14-year-old boy. And I think each, if each of us can awaken this golden bird of entrepreneurship inside us, we can do, we can go much further ahead. And I would want to enter, you know, uh, request uh, uh, Vinaya to share a little bit of story, which we have actually demonstrated, uh, you know, the another child who is in seventh standard in her school, who has developed a plastic brick, uh, you know, using the plastic waste and how now the school with our Sone Ki Chidiya Ko Jagao Center and along with IPS Bangalore, what we are working to use that innovation to convert it into a commercial usage within the school and outside the school as well. So Vinaya, could you throw up some light around that? What is that you are working and what is this child's vision to become on that for himself? Thank you, Anshav. Yes, I was so mesmerized by listening to this child that is Shamek. And it really uh, took me back to the memories of uh, the children in my school. And actually, post uh, uh, we launching IPL in our school after the annual day and after the first workshop which we conducted over there, uh, especially in grade seven, there was a bubble which started. You know, they, they all had this ripples in their classrooms with this. And when they saw some videos on YouTube, etc. And then they started questioning a lot of things. So there was a lesson in an English where English teacher was trying to make them understand that how the uh, re things can be recycled and all. And suddenly one fine day, uh, this child comes up with one small uh, uh, reddish color, uh, completely covered with plastic. And he comes jumping into my office and he just says, uh, knocks in because yeah, the office is open for the children. Of course, yes. Ma'am, I made a brick. I thought he's just kidding up like, you know, Jesse would have just made some clay thing and he had bought. And ma'am, I have hit it in the sun. I have uh, not used anything else, but it's just a plastic, my waste the plastic box, which was there and the waste paper, which is there at home with the glue. I mixed it and I made a brick and I just got a hold of it. And I said, it really looks wonderful. And uh, 
believe me, it acts like a paperweight in my office. So even if you walk in my office, he made a couple of things, a couple of such bricks and he gave it to all the leaders. So we all the leaders have used are we we are all using it as a paperweight in our office at present. And he also, um, uh, you know, he just explained the entire uh, process of making that brick. And then he said, ma'am, do you remember a few days back I walked into you and I said that I uh, I wanted to uh, I want to become a prime minister. And this is the first step of mine to becoming a prime minister. I said, by making a brick, how do you become prime minister? And I said, it's really nice to aspire to become a prime minister because I think this kind of becoming a teacher, becoming a prime minister, changing the world, etc. is now kind of these thoughts are lost from this generation. I thought it's like children are not going to go for this. But the way the child explained to me and the, the now that I heard how Shamik was explaining it, really this generation is uh, towards it we just have to handhold them give them this little spark and ignite it uh, they really really soar up so now we are also planning up to help out this child and the other children from the same grade who are coming up with lot many innovative ideas as a part of uh, our uh, my ceo uh, uh, camp as well as the page turners club which we which we have launched just in our school and uh, we're trying out to make sure that we help them out to make this brick. So in our kindergarten curriculum, we have something called as blocks. And I, I am sure the educators out there will agree to me that how blocks is very, very important to important for a child's mind and uh, development. So one of its cognitive development. So we thought, why not we ask this child to make those similar bricks and use the bricks, which is made by our own children sure. and in our own uh, school for our kindergarten and that's how the journey has actually started and i'm sure that very shortly we are going to give him the molds because the molds are important in when it comes to the uh, blocks so different molds we will give him and we will ask him to prepare those blocks out of those this innovative thing and i am sure that looking at the way this blocks are going to make the revolution because it's been used in almost all the kindergartens and the montessori's because it is an integral part of the curriculum. So that's how I would urge one and everybody here that please do uh, help the children and uh, tell them that whatever small innovation they have done, it's great. Just give them that applaud and you see they can do wonders. So thanks to Anshav, thanks to Bringal, thanks to Sone Ki Chidiya Ko Jagao, thanks to IPL that I'm very proud that a uh, child in my school uh, from a small school, but yes, bought up this innovation very nicely. Thank you. That's a wonderful innovation, uh, Dr. Vinay. And I think thanks to the leaders like you who kinds of always are in, you know, looking, they, they don't discourage children. They actually encourage children to come back with their innovation, their thought process. Even they, they might look weird at times, but they can bring you know, remarkable uh, transformation. Who would have thought that we can actually talk like this on a virtual call, you know, with multiple people joining in from various different locations. Uh, forget about having a calls over a mobile phone. So if you can think of it, it can happen. Probably at one point in time with our Metaverse University, we might be actually training the students sitting at their homes and we teachers without even being personally present there, we are going to leverage this teacherless internet free platform where there is no problem of a teacher or a, you know internet for any each and every buddy of the you know person or the child or the youth out there. And we can reach out to the remotest part of the country. And that is what the vision which we are looking at with this entrepreneurship workshop and with our platform of Bringleverse. So thank you so much for being there. And we would definitely want to take this up as and transform this into a commercial startup. We would work out with the child and engage some of the other students and even the teachers and the management to create it uh, as a company level and see how we can convert it into a proper product and even get the funding and things like that and uh, and for the same so we will definitely take this up and with your uh, with the next batch of super 30 uh, you know uh, club of my ceo and the page turners club we would be taking up bringing up more and more journeys of co-authoring books making them business influencers and starting a small startups for their own so let's let's go ahead before we unveil the entire thing out there. So from here, let me move to the 
uh, the next speaker of our of the day, Pooja Shah. Now, Pooja Shah is actually based out of US and uh, probably she is not, uh, you know, able to join at this time. It's quite early out there. But let me just tell you a little bit about her. She is very passionate about running travel enthusiasts and advocate for holistic health. She has witnessed firsthand the transformative effects of training and now aim to motivate and empower individuals to embark on their own transformative journeys. Like Venu was mentioning the importance of mentoring in startups. She has, she's a professional uh, advertiser turned fitness coach and running her own online training business for a year period of time. And she always says that. And I was talking to Dr. Vinaya, who has kind of introduced her to us. She was mentioning to me that now the income which she was earning in her job is actually she's actually earning much more than that by spending just 50 percent of the time. So I would want uh, Dr. Vinaya to talk a little bit about Puja and why she you know, share about her story and her achievements to the entire world. Thank you, Thank you Anshu. Anshu. So, so uh, when I talk about Pooja, uh, she's just as small as Shamik, I could, I knew her when she was just in grade nine. And this small girl uh, was very aspirant. I taught her for two years as maths subject and helped her, you know, because maths, she never liked maths. And she used to say, why am I learning this maths also? And I used to always tell her, Beta, whatever you do in your life, you will have to learn maths because of simple calculations which you have to do it. And that's when she, uh, her sister was in a, uh, I am not, I'm, I'm, if I just recollect it rightly, she had joined some engineering college and her mother was an entrepreneur entrepreneur and she was a right I will say example for her to become an entrepreneur today I'm not surprised that she's become an entrepreneur at such a such a young age and therein she just joined the college but as as Anshav said and as I know her she's a fitness freak person and always loved to be um, uh, you know completely maintained and also provides that uh, support and help to any and every small and big uh, young as I say it might be a youth or it might be a child or any anybody else she makes sure that she helps out she shortly started something called as a line her work a line is like where she started this uh, venture where she uh, started giving people uh, uh, to understanding to love themselves to accept that whatever they are today is okay so uh, however your body is that's okay because i we, we see that a lot of people who actually keep uh, uh, you know body shaming up like you're fat you're thin you're tall etc so she actually give makes you health cautious and uh, also tells you that how you can uh, be very much fit and healthy she gives them small small tasks and believe me uh, she has students right from uh, age group of, uh, I must say, age group of 9 to 10 to even age group of 60 to 70. And the way the people are responding to it and the way the people are, um, you know, changed and transforms because it's very, very important to have or to nurture our body and also make sure that we start loving. And at the same time, we also make sure that we take care of ourselves in this world of uh, chaos and travel and running across, you know, because it's just like a machine. We just keep going on and on. Uh, she helped a lot of people today uh, with several batches. Like she really uh, literally wrote to me. She apologized to, to me. She was supposed to send a video, but didn't missed out. So she was in a batch which was full and uh, giving her regular training to the people and that's how she has transformed. She's been transforming lives on an everyday basis and making a changes in in everyone, giving each one of them a new experience and a power of staying still, as she always calls. So that's what is all about Pooja. And I'm sure she will share a video very shortly, which we can upload in our uh, website where you all can actually watch her talking and and get inspired at this young age as 24 years and she has achieved so much in her life thank you so much Vinay. and i think uh, i would actually want to have a kind of showcase her uh, the business model uh, to the design unicorn community so that if somebody is interested to join her programs either virtually or physically they can reach out to them uh, reach out to her so we would love to have her on board uh, on our platform as well uh, 
with this, let me now actually take it up to the next level, which is our the next three startups, which are going to be our cohort startups, where we are going to invest our time, money and expertise into that from our Design Your Unicorn NFT $1 billion fund. And the first startup, which I'm going to bring it out here, is actually a very interesting startup, which has gained $1 million soft commitment in just three months of time. And it would not have been possible. It started with just a thought. And believe me, this idea was the one which was actually refuted by many business owners who are successful business owners. And they used to say, this cannot be transformed. And within a three months of time, uh, you know, soulful smiles have got $1 million of soft commitment. And this startup is of none other than Dr. Vinaya. So Dr. Vinaya would like to know a little bit more about soulful smiles. What are you working upon and why and how you got that $1 million soft commitment in just three months of time, even when you didn't have a pitch deck, even you don't have a pitch deck, even now, I think, if I'm not wrong. So over to you, Vinaya, I would love to know more about that. Thank you, Anshav. And as he said very rightly, you know, when he said that, OK, you have to pitch, I said, I do not have a pitch deck. And the same thing I told uh, to one of the person when he asked me that, OK, you tell me about your soulful smile, how it is. One of the investor when he asked me out and I was like, it is just a thought, sir. And I think that I can take it ahead with the help of uh, uh, Anshav and his team who constantly kept believing in me that yeah I can do it and I was like no it cannot I cannot happen so uh, but yes here I am uh, to pitch soulful smile to one and everybody so if I give a small introduction about soulful smile it is nothing but uh, in short, in one line, as I, I also learned this uh, terminology from Anshav or from Bringle, that is give your one line a pitch in one minute or, you know, one line a pitch in a second or something like that. So uh, uh, in one line, if I have to say what is soulful smile, it's empowering lives, igniting smiles. Soulful smile, your path to lasting happiness and personal growth. This is what I aim at transforming happiness, introducing soulful smiles to one and all here, present here and one and all who are listening to this video. Elevate happiness and elevate success is what is the soulful smile speaks about. There are a lot of things which is involved in Soulful Smile. So when I talk about Soulful Smile, it's a revolutionary initiative in itself, which is dedicated to spreading smiles by enhancing happiness. We understand that uh, the pivotal role of happiness plays in personal as well as in professional success. Our mission at Soulful Smile is nothing to create a world where every individual embraces their true self, experiences joy and contributes positivity to their surroundings. Now, how do we do this? Yes, there is something which is called as happiness index. And I'm sure each one of us have heard about this word called as happiness index. Measuring this happiness index is something very, very important. And it's something which we never do. So we employ a comprehensive happiness index that assesses both subjective and objective factors contributing to individuals happiness. Now, how do we make or do we change this or do we really strategize on this happiness index? We have a different set of questionnaires with age criteria. Our meticulously designed questionnaire is tailored to various age groups, ensuring accurate assessments. These ensures that our programs are effective and relevant across the diverse life stages. When I say life stages, it uh, the questionnaire varies from a small child as from five years old to a age group of 60 and above. Happiness quotient calculation is something another important thing which we of uh, figured it out, we compute the happiness quotient using a combination of quantitative and qualitative data. This provides the participants with a deep understanding of their well-being and the areas for improvement. Not that we just find out the uh, happiness quotient and uh, check their happiness index, but we also give them a right feedback and also give them a scope of improvement or when I say improvement, helping them to uh, scale it up. Collecting a critical feedback, we actively engage, encourage the participants to provide a critical feedback, which helps us to gain insights into challenges that they face for and the opportunities which we can give them for their growth. 
Analyzing and understanding the pain points of our customers. Our team analyzes a feedback to identify the patterns and the pain points, which enables us to offer a specific solutions and design personalized programs. Tailored solutions for the growth, as I say, it's not just finding the happiness index. It's not just finding the happiness quotient, but also based on the feature of feedbacks, etc. We craft an actionable plan for an individual for organizations which can help to address the challenges to promote a positive transformation, both as an individual as well as an organization. Uh, when we talk about organization, very, very importantly, it is employee retention and the well-being of an organization. And I'm sure after post COVID, every each and every person here wants to be uh, happy, wants to be healthy. So we understand that happy employees are the backbone of any successful organization. And I'm sure that each one of you uh, right here would understand and ex agree to this. Our programs focuses on enhancing the well-being, leading to improved employee retention rates. How do we do it by customizable workshops? We offer a customizable workshops which cater to the unique needs of the organization. And these workshops foster to cohesion, emotional intelligence, as well as stress management. Now, what do we give them? Long term happiness strategy. We partner with organizations to develop into long term happiness strategies, ensuring a sustained positive impact on an employee satisfaction, as well as a success eventually leading out to a successful organization. How do we do it on an individual level? Rediscovering your true self. Our programs guide individuals to reconnecting with their authentic selves, and this journey of self-discovery promotes to a genuine happiness and to post and also to personal fulfillment. Personal growth plans. This is the second thing which we give to our individuals. We provide them a comprehensive personal growth plans based on the assessment results. These plans encompass their skill developments, emotional resilience, and pursuing passions. And not only that. We also give them an ongoing support to the individuals that we call it as happiness uh, doesn't happen just for one particular minute and it ends out over there. It's an ongoing journey which is continuous. So we offer a continuous support through the offers and give them the counseling as well as progress the tracking and sustain personal growth as well. Real life impact. How do we make the impact? Soulful trans smiles transformed. Uh, outlook of the life. This is these are the words by one of my uh, students because I have practically used these uh, kind of uh, uh, questionnaires and this on my students as well as on my teachers. A uh, soulful smiles and these are the lines of my children and my students that it changed or transformed the outlook of the life and they helped them overall to have or overcome their personal challenges and bring happiness in everyday moments. Our organization employee engagement, which was there, uh, which we again tried it out in my uh, cohort of my uh, or uh, my networks of uh, schools and uh, skill sectors, education sector, I will say. So uh, it helped the ideas and the things which we used as uh, or which I say that it's there in Soulful Smile and which we used. It proved significantly after uh, we give them a specific shift uh, so they could see the specific positive shift at their workplace with their culture. So I just end with my last line saying that for a brighter and a happier future, connect with us and let's spread together the Soulful Smiles in one billion lives. Thank you. Wonderful, Dr. Vinay. And I think it is going to create a really a, a remarkable, uh, you know, initiative. Uh, I would also want to kind of ask you one question. What is that hard product which is involved into it? Is it a hardware or is it a software or is it a combination? Would like to know a little bit more on that as well. Uh, uh, you meant hard. Sorry, I, I, I didn't get your question. So, so what I meant is, uh, are you going to deploy some kind of a hardware product which can monitor this happiness index on a regular basis or it is going to be based on a series of a question question and answers only like what you mentioned in your, uh, in your uh, explanation? 
it it's not only uh, limited or restricted to the uh, questionnaires as well what we do it now as i said i was completely new to this uh, entrepreneur journey and entrepreneurship so but yes of course thanks to brigel and thanks to that 21 days uh, and model of uh, making your business success sustainable and how do you make your business right from an idea or an innovation to an end product uh yes of course uh, this is not only based on the questionnaires but there's a specific instrument like how we have the smart watches so we have something called as uh, uh, your heart when you are happy you have some enzymes which gets created in your body so measuring this enzymes and how oftenly it helps so there is supposed to be an instrument which measures out this which gives you a proper quotient and that's how we understand whether at this right particular minute this person is happy or not it works like similar like um we would have seen in movies etc and also in real life like uh, i would just connect it to that that if a person there's a lie detector machine that when a person says lie you know the heart rate uh, it is measured due to due to some variations in the heart rate and the blood thing so similarly uh, we have this kind of uh, technology or i will say this technology has to be developed and we are into progress of it and we're trying to looking look out for that where it uh, a lot of health sector also i need a help with lot of health sector and collaborate with health sector people where how the heart rates can be measured when the person is happy and how the blood circulation and how this enzymes are created when a person is happy so yes but this is all work in progress looking forward for more help from bringle so that i can take it ahead wonderful wonderful i think that's a fine great explanation and i'm sure uh, uh, people like ashwarya who are running their own startups called label card to add life to the people years uh, life to your uh, you know years to your life so that i think it is going to create a uh, much more happy life for us and probably you are working towards giving a people a really happy and long life ahead so that is what one of the mission or uh, you know initiatives which you have taken up under soulful smiles thank you so much dr vinaya for sharing wonderful uh, you know wonderfully about your whole uh, project around that which has actually got 1 million uh, dollar of soft commitment within 3 months of time without a pitch deck so wonderful congratulations to you and wish you very all the best uh now the second uh, startup is actually uh, one of our through uh, investment uh, you know the, this is through our syndicate investment called uh, vspark and it is also one of the investor platform on our uh, designer unicorn website and it's called recode recode is one of the uh, you know competitor of uh, you know uh, companies uh, like which are brands like uh, you know different big brands and also it's a 100 crore portfolio company right now it is one of our investment which has now become a 100 crores and uh, just want to share a little bit video around what they have been into cnbc and how they have made up uh, to that level i'll just quickly browse through it probably uh, you know go to the snippets of it so that you know we don't waste time on that and we'll move to the another uh, startup uh, whose founder has actually transformed a simple idea into a multi crore revenue generation company in just a year's time and we will talk about that as well but before that let's hear to it about recode एक दशक पहले जहां भारत के कॉस्मेटिक मार्केट में लैकमे रेवलॉन मेबलिन का ही नाम सुनाई देता था आज यहां इन नामों के साथ शुगर कीरो अर्थ रिदम रेने जैसे नाम काफी मशहूर हो गए हैं माय ग्लैम नाइका पर्पल जैसे प्लेटफॉर्म्स के आने के बाद इन प्रोडक्ट्स का सिर्फ ऑनलाइन एक्सेस ही नहीं बल्कि ऑफलाइन एक्सेस भी काफी बढ़ गया है लेकिन यह एक्नॉलेज करना जरूरी है कि इस लगातार एक्सपैंड हो रहे मार्केट में एक नया ब्रांड एस्टैब्लिश करना कोई आसान काम नहीं है आज हम आपकी मुलाकात करवा रहे हैं एक ऐसे ही ब्रांड से जो छोटे शहरों के ग्राहकों के लिए अफोर्डेबल कॉस्मेटिक्स बनाने पर जोर दे रहा है देखिए 2018 में लुधियाना से कैसे की रिकॉर्ड ने अपने सफर की शुरुआत एक समय था जब मेकअप से सजने धजने का मौका नाटक सिनेमा वालों को मिलता था या फिर शादी ब्याह जैसे मौकों पर लेकिन आजकल कॉलेज और ऑफिस जाने वाली हर महिला मेकअप के बगैर बाहर नहीं जाती इसमें भी सिर्फ सुंदरता निखारने वाले प्रोडक्ट नहीं बल्कि सनस्क्रीन लिप बाम मॉइस्चराइजर जैसे पर्सनल केयर प्रोडक्ट भी शामिल है यहाँ मौजूद अपॉर्चुनिटीज को देखते हुए धीरज बंसल और राहुल सचदेवा ने कॉस्मेटिक्स और ब्यूटी सेगमेंट में दो में इंटरनेशनल कॉस्मेटिक ब्रांड्स को टक्कर देने वाला देसी अफोर्डेबल ब्रांड रिकॉर्ड लॉन्च किया 
ऑफलाइन मार्केट में खुद को साबित करने में जुटा ब्रांड कोविड की दस्तक से बिथर गया और कभी न देखा न सोचा ऐसा दौर शुरू हुआ लेकिन फाउंडर्स के जुगाड़ू मार्केटिंग फंडों ने इस मुश्किल घड़ी का उपयोग लॉन्च पैड की तरह किया क्योंकि हम ऑफलाइन मार्केट में काम करते थे जैसे मैंने पहले आपको बताया विदक्ष पटी और राहुल राहुल का इन ऑफलाइन मार्केट तो तब हमने अपना मॉडल जो ऑफलाइन से टोटली डीडीसी में ऑनलाइन कन्वर्ट कर दिया उसमें हमने अपने जो प्रोडक्ट्स थे वो कस्टमर्स को प्रोडक्ट्स ट्राई करने के लिए बिकॉज हमें कॉन्फिडेंस अपनी क्वालिटी पे थ्रू प्रमोशन ऑफ ब्लॉगर्स एंड इन्फ्लुएंसर्स हमने एक एक रुपये में सारे प्रोडक्ट्स अपने इंडिया में रहा बेचे तो जिसे एंड कंजूमर ने हमारा ट्राई किया और उसके बाद हमें उसका रिटाइ प्रोडक्ट्स का तो उसके बाद जो हमारे जिनको हमने प्लस दिए थे अपने कस्टमर को वो हमारे लिए प्रोडक्ट ब्रांड बेस्ट बन गए और उन्होंने हमारी ब्रांड की प्रमोशन मतलब दिया तो प्रोडक्ट हमारे उसके बाद शॉप पर डिमांड कर दी हमारी उसके बाद ऑफलाइन में और डीडू हमारे पास हमने साथ मार्केट शुरू किया जिसके ऊपर सब ब्रांड हमारे बिल्कुल तो इस तरह से हमने अपने बिजनेस को बढ़ाया लॉकडाउन में इन्फ्लुएंसर मार्केटिंग का आइडिया ऐसा ठीक हुआ कि फाउंडर्स ने फिर पीछे मुद्दे नहीं देखा खुद के ब्रांड को बेचते समय मार्केट प्लेस मॉडल ने भी तेजी पकड़ी इसी बीच मेकअप सीखने वाले ग्राहकों के लिए बाजार में मौजूद गैप पर फाउंडर्स ने अपना रुख किया जैसे ही कोविड का लॉकडाउन खुला तो उसके बाद हमने देखा भी एक गैप है जो एंड कंज्यूमर है उनको कॉस्मेटिक यूज करना नहीं आता है और उसके लिए हमने ऑफलाइन ग्रूमिंग क्लासेस देनी शुरू की तो ऑफलाइन ग्रूमिंग क्लास अभी भी अगर हम आज बात करेंगे तो भी हमारी पांच सीज में लाइव है कोई आगरा में है अलगढ़ में है नागपुर में है तो मेन फोकस हमारा मार्केट है टेटू सीज में हम मेन फोकस करें अपनी एप्रोच को पता करना कॉस्मेटिक ब्रांड की नई प्रोडक्ट की क्वालिटी बढ़ाई जाती है मार्केट कितना ही बड़ा हो रिपीट कस्टमर और वर्ड ऑफ माउथ से स्केल करने के लिए क्वालिटी में कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं किया जा सकता इसीलिए कंपनी भले ही थर्ड पार्टी से प्रोडक्ट बनवाती हो लेकिन क्वालिटी पर कई नजर रहती है सारा प्रोडक्शन जो हमारा है वो थर्ड पार्टी होता है और उसमें हमारी क्यूसी टीम है क्यूसी टीम जाकर डिंग जो हमारा बेस्ट होता है तो बेस्ट टीम में हम ट्राइल करते हैं उसमें अगर कोई क्वालिटी जब होती है तो जो प्रोडक्शन में उसको जेक कर देते हैं तो प्रॉपर क्यूसी होकर ही मार्केट में हमारा पड़ता है हमारा क्योंकि ये बहुत ज्यादा सेंसिटिव रहता है स्किल वगैरह करने के लिए तो इसमें बहुत ज्यादा रहना पड़ता है प्रोडक्ट को एंड कंजूमर पहुंचाने से पहले कंपनी के पास फिलहाल 400 सौ यूज है और समय समय पर इनमें नए प्रोडक्ट ऐड किए जाते हैं इस तरह से स्किन टाइप कॉम्प्लेक्शन के लिए प्रोडक्ट की वैरायटी रिकॉर्ड स्टूडियोज में मिलती है इंटरनेशनल फ्रेंड्स के मुताबिक नए प्रोडक्ट को बाजार में उतारा जाता है ऑफलाइन स्टोर से हो रही ग्रोथ के चलते कंपनी अब एग्रेसिव एक्सपेंशन पर फोकस बना रही है ऑफलाइन से पहुंच बढ़ाने के लिए कंपनी ने फ्रेंचाइजीज का रास्ता अपनाया है जुलाई 2023 में पांच नए स्टोर्स के साथ साल के अंत तक 20 नए स्टोर्स शुरू करने का कंपनी का इरादा है लेकिन इन विस्तार योजनाओं के साथ साथ फाउंडर्स का प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी आरोप फोकस बरकरार रहेगा जो भी अभी जैसी स्किल करेगा हमारी तो लोग दो चार साल में कर रहे हैं हम चार पांच साल में करेंगे ज्यादा करेंगे कोई तीन साल में करेंगे दस साल लग जाएंगे जो पिछले दो साल में साल में करूंगा लेकिन रिपोर्ट प्रॉफिट लेकिन बेचते हैं इसमें लॉस मेकिंग वाला धंधा समझ लगता तो इसमें हम जितना करेंगे प्रॉफिट करेंगे और लास्ट ईयर का भी हमारा जो प्रॉफिट है आई थिंक हमने पिछले कुछ उसमें नाइन नाइन फाइव लाख है मेरे को प्रॉफिट नहीं पता है लेकिन जिससे हमारा जो जैसे हमारे भर रहा है तो हमारे प्रॉफिट नंबर ज्यादा तो रिपोर्ट की भी प्रॉफिट होगी बन वाला मॉडल तो बीसी ऑफ रिपोर्ट मेरे को समझ लगता है ब्रांड के पास 45 परसेंट रिपीट कस्टमर्स आते हैं इसी से इनकी सक्सेस का अंदाजा लगाया जा सकता है डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स की भीड़ में ब्रांड को खो देने के बजाय कंपनी अपने फ्रेंचाइजीज को ही डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर बना रही है साथ ही ब्रांड टीयर टू टीयर थ्री शहरों में फ्रेंचाइजी शुरू करते हुए भारत के मार्केट में पकड़ हासिल कर रहा है इन तगड़े ऑफलाइन स्केल के बाद कंपनी मास मार्केट और प्रीमियम सेगमेंट के लिए प्रोडक्ट उतार कॉस्मेटिक मार्केट के हर वर्टिकल में अपना वर्चस्व बनाना चाहती है and uh, this is one of the startup detectives which actually has connected with us i met the co-founder founder and ceo of this company in dubai in uh, march 2022 and uh, when i met him he was actually you know he was getting awarded as an educational outstanding leadership award and uh, since then we have been working with him and what i have realized is that the kind of expertise he has brought in on to this uh, data says and the kind of work he is doing he has actually generated multi crore business in just less than one year of time so let's hear the story from directly from the founder of data says uh, manoranjan sahu manoranjan ji uh, are you there would like to know more details about data says and what work you are focusing on this yeah good evening good evening uh, ansar and good evening entire team so I, am i audible clear Yes, yes. You are audible, but you are not visible. Okay. Is this okay now? Uh, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. You can continue, uh, Manoranjan. Okay. I don't know why video is not working, but uh, it was. So We can hear you very well. Please continue. Okay. So, uh, good evening, all. Uh, Ansar ji and entire team. So basically, myself Monojan Sahu, and basically I am the founder CEO for Raditya Smart Solution. And uh, basically, I am an electrical engineer. And last thirty years, I am into the business. I was uh, basically into the business of energy sectors. 
and I have worked uh, more than uh, five big hundred, top hundred companies of the world working in US, Germany, uh, Tokyo. So what I have learned in those 30 years, basically from the simple engineering to the complex engineering from all sectors of business, from steel in the tip, industry, paper industry, automobile, it is in the defense sector, is naval safes, and finally into the nuclear uh, power plant and all the big energy sectors and even into the gas turbines also. So what I have learned in those uh, 30 years that uh, I felt that if I only know then it is of what is the use if I cannot spread it to or I cannot multiply to many people. I have understood from the small village I have come up and how I have expanded to the most developed countries in the world and how I can find, I can just uh, see that uh, in India, it is not that everybody pass out from the IITs or NITs. There are a lot of engineering colleges and they do not get the exposure of these and which are the, the mind struck in my, in my feelings that if I can develop those people and give them the employability skill, then it will be a great help to the mankind. So in that spirit, I started and in 2021 after the COVID period, and that was the time when, of course, a little bit established, my family was established, then I thought that it is done next, and the rest of my life, I'll be do something for the development, and it is really working well, but uh, the things are that, that there are some multiplication issues are there, but uh, I can say, uh, Dityas is basically wants to create an impact, especially by catering to the unemployment solutions in India through skill-based education. So despite the bloom in the global industry, the unemployed numbers keep on rising. This you must be finding from the newspaper. Then this is particular due to the lack of desired skills and learning of the candidates due to both behavioral and lack of skill in the area of passion. Dithyas is approach to transforming a manager into thought leaders because that for that reason, I have seen that not only it is the education or the mark that counts, you should have that attitude and the behavioral skills also developed. And that is the reason I have some international franchisee with the top leadership business school of US and I have also collaboration with them and I'm developing not only in the technical expertise but also in the behavioral skills and I'm able to uh, that is really giving big impact in the changes in the behavior and they are able to learn something great and so this is the approach to transforming a manager into thought leader starts with the comprehensive consultation and training approach the managers are constantly engaged in discussions of new ideas and how to apply these ideas to action through an interactive learning approach these programs are conducted for each and every need of the organization and they are tailor-made to specific requirements. And basically, we do not want that the person should be only focused on in one area. It is not like that. We just find out first what is his interest level. And then we give them sufficient training because of my experience in versatility of all industry sectors. And I just, uh, I first make an up to two and two hours or three hours discussion with the candidate. And I find out that in which area he has the interest because everybody, everybody, mind, you just think of that every person has a leadership skill, might be in some areas or in other, that may not be accepted by some industry, but he is really a gems for some other his qualities. So I we used to find on that and I used to make the, him uh, more, more trained on those subjects and then I try to utilize them. Either if he's coming in my areas, then I used to give him employability in my areas, but otherwise if he is into different sector, then I have some global interactions and I put him in those field and he's able to thrive there. So this is the way uh, I'm trying to transform the people and trying to develop them the experts, trying to develop them the leaders, because unless managing the things doesn't solve anything. Everybody has to be a leader, then only he will be able to do something justice for his life. So this is how I have worked. And from the output side, since people has to be trained and that has to be engaged, so some fields have to be created. So we have a vertical for the construction business also. So what I'm doing now, we have multi-million, uh, some uh, one, uh, we have done $1 million of business for the last one year. So from the day I have started and much more in the pipeline. So I'm thinking of uh, just multiplying my business into some more uh, into the requirement and as for the investment, I'm thinking of if some good investment is there, then definitely I'll be able to do a greater uh, multiplication on this and do something great for that. So this is how it is working. And right now I'm handling $1 million business.
So, and some uh, more are in the pipeline. And, and I'm going to many of the schools and engineering institutions and trying to get those candidates and uh, I'm trying to develop them. So this is how uh, the thesis is working. And this is all about how the thesis and in uh, next time we'll be able to do something more and then we can discuss further. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maranjan ji. I think it's a wonderful initiative to uh, work towards uh, mission uh, zero unemployment because I think what you're going to focus is, uh, is, is from the perspective of uh, how to bring in more edge, you know, employable, employable candidates and especially on the areas which are most required and you're connecting them to the global world. And I think that is where it is going to be much more important. Would like to work with you on the same and see how we can transform your million dollar business business, uh, you know, in terms of the revenues into uh, probably 10x or 100x over the period of the three to five years time. So that is what right. we would love to work with you and see how we can help you grow. So you will be part of uh, our uh, cohort investment cohorts uh, platform where we would be helping you to raise the funds and support you towards the business development from all the educational institutions or any other customers you have from that uh, perspective out there. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you so thank much you for much. being there. And uh, uh, with this, let me just take it up. So these are the three main speakers and three startups. We have showcased it out to you. Let me just quickly tell you before sharing it about that. What are the number of startups in our community who has pitched this to us? There are around uh, almost around 50 plus startups who have part of uh, who have kind of pitched to us so far and out of them 40 plus have we have been now supporting them for various fundraising and uh, you know uh, uh, business development activities and there are seven startups with whom we are going to raise uh, you know going to invest from our designer unicorn uh, 1 billion dollar fund as well and uh, what the whole model of this entire designer unicorn uh, you know, perspective or methodology is about bringing up a one-stop solution for any of your inflow in incoming or outgoing cash flow management and the leadership requirements. The idea here is that you might have an idea, but how can you transform that ideas into a billion dollar company in next three to five years of time? Because less than, you know, if you see the numbers today, more than uh, 70% of the businesses are not able to survive beyond three, three years of time. And only 3%, in fact, 97% of the businesses doesn't survive more than uh, three years. Out of them, only 1% get some sort of funding. And out 90% of the funded businesses don't survive at all. And which means that only 0.1% of the businesses actually survive. The reason is there are millions of combinations and permutations which are getting created out of the four areas, seven pillars and 105 factors which can make or break the businesses. We have uncovered covered this entire methodology in a five stage certification process right from white belt to yellow belt to green belt to blue belt and black belt and we help startups or ideas to transform them into a billion dollar company in the period of over a period of 3 to 5 years time and that is the same monetized digitization and monetization model we are bringing in with the support on investments mentoring the startups branding support and business development aspects so this is what the whole aspect of the value proposition model which you are bringing in this design your unicorn community or startup ecosystem uh, but it does not revolve around only the existing startups it actually go much lower it actually starts from the level when the children are also can come in over there if you see our uh, you know the speakers you will find the speakers coming in from three age groups or three different experience zones the first one, Venu, was is having a multi, you know, it is a serial entrepreneur having more than three decades of entrepreneurship experience into it, and he's also a venture capitalist and an investor. The another speaker, Pooja Shah, she is just, she is a, you know, a college uh, going, you know, she was just a college going graduate, a youth of our country, and who has started her own venture and now earning multi million, you know, earning multiple lakhs of rupees uh, for, for her venture without doing, going for the job. And then we have the young uh, student, you know, a very young who is in ninth standard, has got four, uh, you know, uh, softwares being ready. And 
and he's having his own company where he's working on that to develop his you know startup or passive income so that is why we are taking this leveraging and especially the way sone ki chidiya ko jagao center in i is bangalore under the guidance of dr vinaya uh, is being taken up a very good shape right now and we are bringing in the further next already we have given 30 students a, a training and we are now taking another 30 students to take up to their uh, you know next level of entrepreneurship journey so we are looking at schooling the next generation of 10 million plus entrepreneurs of india nurturing the youth innovation and unleashing the next 1 million startups of india from that so that we can bring in more and more startups from the country and if you see the numbers of the country today we are 140 crore population out of 140 crore let's assume that 1 crore are uh, uh, 100 crores which is around 1 billion people are actually able to are a working population or they can do some sort of business we are looking at 1 crore of people who are coming up as an entrepreneur which is not even 1% of the entire population of the country so getting 10 million entrepreneurs is is very very possible only from our 50 crore plus children and 26 crore plus youth of our country apart from that there are more than 20 to 30 crore of people who are working in the jobs and there are many of them who are wanting to looking to you know start their businesses or start their ventures or their passive income and you know without worrying about their job income out there because they are probably doing the job because they have lot of uh, responsibilities and basis on the response because of the issues you know which they are facing they would they can come out of that ecosystem have their passive income and work with their own children the youth and the children of our country to bring them into the ecosystem and that creates a complete circular economy for us so that is why nurturing the youth innovation unleashing the next 1 million startups we are looking at digitizing and monetizing the expertise of 1 lakh professionals into a passive income model these are the people who are going to generate a passive income model through royalty incomes like books or being a, becoming a business influencer or even they are probably giving us you know kind of a royalty income from their innovations uh we are going to invest 14.7 crore rupees in our first batch of super 30 startups and all the three uh, startups which you have seen just now there are total seven startups we have already finalized whom we are going to invest 14.7 crores over a period of 3 to 5 years over you know in the in the four tranches of that the first tranche would be of 30 lakh rupees from our first fund of 1.5 million dollars there will be a second tranche of 1.2 crores uh, from the fund of 20.1 million dollars where we are going to invest in top 102 startups and it will be going at 3 crores uh, of funding as a third tranche from our 192 million dollar fund from uh, for the smart 390 startups and then eventually to fortune 480 startups with a 10.2 crores uh, of investment from our 803.3 million dollar of fund totaling up to 1 billion dollar fund this fund is going to be you know raised developed and invested over a period of 3 to 5 years time giving our investors and startups a 100x plus growth in the next 3 to 5 years time so that's how the total investment of 14.7 crores would be transferred into them and we would be supporting working with them on an equity basis and supporting over a period of 3 uh, to 5 years time uh, they will also be participating into the uh, you know our luxury events and cruise events where 2000 to 5000 plus a high net worth individuals would be coming and you know uh, watching or you know attending your pitches in a blended metaverse uh, event out there this is going to be the one of the most luxurious startup pitching event uh, in the world across the world which is going to happen and is going to take up a next uh, you know uh, uh, transformation in the country out there with this we'll be looking at funding the next 100 unicorns of india out of these 1000 plus startups we are going to work with them to bring the next 100 unicorns of india and transforming india into a startups capital of the world uh these are sub 35 startups which has just pitched in the last one week to us 
and we has joined our community of the startups through during the august kranti festival uh, you know startups festival now we are looking at complete our top 102 startups who are going to be part of the community by the end of the August. So in August Kranti, we are going to showcase 102 startups uh, in this, uh, you know, startups festival. And believe me, there are no charges to it. You just have to fill up a simple Google form. The Google form is available on our website, designyourunicorn.com. Uh, just fill up, come up to our community, showcase your startup. And if your startup is being selected by our investor of investors or by investment committee of Designer Unicorn $1 billion fund, we will take you to our portfolio company to support portfolio startups, to support you on your business development as well as fundraising at completely at success fees model. And then if you are ready to transform or you are already making your business you know you are generating your business you have proved your blue ocean strategy and then we will be ready helpful to we'll be happy to invest from our designer unicorn one billion dollar fund like three of the startups who have already got uh, confirmation from us and there are around seven startups who have already got confirmation on that there are 23 startups pending and uh, we will be looking for that over a period of three to five months uh, on that to complete this journey. These are the some of the startups. So one of the, you know, these startups, the second stage, the third uh, set of startups, which has kind of pitched in this one week of time. And thanks to Aishwarya. Aishwarya, would you like to share something about anything about these startups and the startup ecosystem, how it is being developed? What are the good things which is coming up into the ecosystem at this point in time? Yeah. So uh, I've been having a conversation with a lot of startups in last uh, week for this August Kranti event. And we have got some nice innovative startups which are supporting the uh, green, the green environment and which are or futuristic and not a simple small which not like the traditional uh, startups or traditional uh, businesses. So there are some startups which are really trying to make the difference. And there are startups which are looking in for helping the uh, inclusivity and people who cannot afford to go for skills. And they also get skills and employment. So this has been a nice journey. Still, we have a lot of startups who have come to us, reached out to us. We are ready to have conversation with them. But it is nice to see so many startups, so many people involved. And some of them are very young and very uh, having very futuristic thoughts rather than having traditional way of doing things. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ashwari. I think that makes a lot of difference. And let's walk out to, you know, transform the startup ecosystem into a wonderful ecosystem uh, of India and transforming India into a startup's capital uh, of uh, of the world. So I think which is why, which is going to become very, very important initiatives from us. So these are some of the startups. Uh, this is one of the initiative or, you know, uh, this is we call it as SKCKJ Baton Pass It On Ceremony. So I would want each of you to take a snapshot of this. If you see the, on the top side, there is a QR code for an exclusive invitation for being of our Transformers community, where there you are going to get one of the exclusive opportunity to be a part of Page Turners Club, where you are going to get guaranteed returns as high as 12% per annum and your entire in amount. This is the world's first club which actually generates passive income for you. Whatever money you invest in this, starting from 12th with a minimum ticket size of 12,000 rupees, you will get eight, you know, uh, up to high, as high as 12% per annum of guaranteed returns and you have an opportunity to actually de-invest at the end of three years as well even after getting this opportunity not only that you will get multiple opportunities to get training you get opportunity to be a part platform partner with bringle talks and get more and more benefits for your yourself so that you can generate more and more passive income 
it's one of its unique kind so i would request all of you to join in you can join in as an as in for experts preneur with 12000 rupees plus gst you can join in for entrepreneurship which is a lifelong mentoring and investment support and at the end of 3 years you will be able to get in the opportunity to uh, get that money into transformed or converted into the dyu fund nfts so that you can get more 100x plus returns out there and for the invest preneurs with a minimum ticket size of 3 lakh rupees plus gst where in you are going to get the entire amount of uh, you know the nfts being given to you at right now itself and apart from more trainings on startups investment how to evaluate them you know our uh, cruise events access and various other luxury events to be a part of the startup community pitching events as such and this is all our returnable in multiple you know amount of money to you with which will be coming to you on that so let's you know please uh, register on this fill up a google form we will reach out to you we will explain you entire details and then we will take it up from there the another thing is that as sone ki chidiya ko jagao book is also available in the e synopsis format with this qr code which is in the middle of it where you can uh take a synopsis e synopsis download and buy the copy of the book uh, which is available on amazon it's available at sonekichidiya.org website you can check that globally it is available 100% of the profits of both volumes of the book uh the merchandise the magazine and the august success festival goes towards providing education employment and entrepreneurship opportunities as well as health and accessibility to underprivileged youth and children of our country through our ngo partner vardhan for you and the third qr code which you found in finding it the down it is actually for the startups investors to scan this qr code reach out to us they you will find lot of information around that join our communities be a part of the ecosystem and we will be helping you out to grow your money or your startup into 100x in the next 3 to 5 years period of time and let's discuss it further from there and uh, this is what the you know end of the slide which we want to take it up and let me just tell you you know this is not the end of it this is just a start of it it took 2 years for us to literally take it forward from there and uh, let's awaken the golden bird in every household as ultimately it's one earth one family one future so thank you all once again for your participation and let's speak loud jagao jagao har ghar tiranga ke sath har ghar sone ki chidiya ko jagao awakening the golden bird inside each of you keep bringing keep, keep growing thank you thank, thank you, you so thank much you all. everybody and uh, we will soon reach out to you for uh, the next steps thank you very much thank you all